Hey guys, my name is Tatan Suleta. I'm a fashion portrait photographer based in Miami, and today we wanted to talk about the Retouching Academy's RA panel. Now, before we get into detail, there are a few things I feel that have to be clarified first. Keep in mind, I'm talking about the panel based on my own personal experience, and this can be different from other photographers, retouchers. A lot of times I get the same question from a lot of my followers and students. Is it worth to buy the RA panel? For starters, if you think that this panel is an almighty retouching tool, you are totally mistaken. The RA panel is not a plugin like the well-known portraiture, which I personally hate. It is a very well-programmed action panel that will help speed up your working flow as a retoucher. It has some awesome actions like the magical skin tone button or the visual aids for your dodge and burn processes. But all in all, it's an action panel. So if you don't know how to retouch, this panel won't solve your problem. I do recommend you learn some of the techniques and then you can choose if you need it or not. But don't buy it just because you think it's going to make you the next Pratik Nike. So, if you already know how to retouch, I do recommend you buying this awesome extension for Photoshop. In case you don't know how to retouch, the Retouching Academy website has some awesome tutorials. Some are free to get you started, and others more in detail and worth every single penny. That being said, let's dive into the world of the RA panel. So what is this RA panel a lot of people is talking about? Well, here it is. It's this long green panel you must have seen in some videos, images, and stories from your favorite retouchers. It's divided in several sections and they are very straightforward. You first have your two buttons. The first one which will allow you to access to the liquify filter and the second one will create a sharpening layer based on your image. Then we have the dodge and burn section. You will see different ways to build your dodge and burn process. You can create a standard curve dodge and burn set or create an individual adjustment as well as that visual aids. You can also set your brushes to recommended configurations for this type of process. Next, the frequency separation section. Here you can create an eight or 16 bit set a custom set for those who would like the high pass filter method and a digital texture button, which creates a layer with digital texture to fill some areas lacking such information. The luminosity mask section creates selection based in luminosity values and you can modify them with a plus or minus button to get more or less information inside your selection. This section is great for color grading and localized effects. In the beauty section you'll find a lot of useful sections, from an action for unifying skin tones to a more complex hair removal action, which Julia Kuzmenkos explains how she uses it on her free tutorials at Retouching Academy website. In the last version of the RA panel, they added a few buttons to deal with hair. Also you will find a quality control buttons, which are very useful for double checking any flaws that you still have left in your image. You can also create your own actions and save them in the bottom section, which has six free slots for your own. Finally, you can see at the very bottom some adjustment layer buttons with the most common adjustment used for retouching, as well as sizing buttons for your output. Another awesome thing about the RA panel is that every time Adobe comes up with a new version of Photoshop, the guys from Retouching Academy will upgrade the panel and you will be able to download it for free if you bought a previous version of the panel. So there you have it people, an overall view from the RA panel from Retouching Academy, which combined with the retouching skills will help you turn an image from this to this. I'll leave the link where you can buy the RA panel in the description as well as the Retouching Academy's website. Go get your copy, work with it, and let me know how it goes. For now, I wanna thank you all very much for watching. If you want, go check my video introducing Dodge and Burn here. And if you like it, please subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll be seeing you in another video. Thank you very much, and you all have a very good day.